Hi everyone, John Matthews here with Adventure Awaits World Travel, your cruise experts. A few weeks ago we got to sail on the Disney Wonder for a very merry time cruise, so today we get to take a tour of this beautiful ship. One of the many fun things about Disney cruises is that when you board, they introduce you. Disney Wonder, please You board the ship on deck three in the lobby atrium and you can see since it's a holiday cruise, basically a Christmas cruise, the ship is just beautifully decorated. There's Minnie and Mickey on the left. You can see it's just a gorgeous ship with all the amazing decorations in the atrium and the holiday decorations all over the railings and they do a show when you come aboard. So enjoy. Hello everyone, I'm Gus and I'm here with Captain Mickey. Hi, folks. And Captain Minnie. Minnie and Mickey insisted that they drove me here today to be the first to welcome you all on board in the beautiful Disney Wonder. We missed you. We could not tell you how great it feels to see our dazzling atrium filled with families again. Families that are about to make lifelong memories together. Our Shipper family has been working tirelessly to make sure that your family can experience the magic that is Disney. Now, Captains, take it away. So just a fun way to welcome you on board. And they also use the atrium for character greetings. You can see Chip and Dale, and they have Santa on board since it was a holiday sailing. Just behind the atrium on deck three is the guest services desk, where they can help you with all sorts of things. Continuing our ship tour, which I'll do by deck, so we'll stay here on deck three, heading toward the back of the ship, you come to Triton's, which is one of the many restaurants on board. It's a beautiful restaurant which serves continental cuisine with a French flair for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can see the restaurant's not very crowded either. The ship holds 2,700 passengers and we were told that it was only about a third full. More of the Disney magic on board. Heading further toward the back of the ship, you come to the French Quarter Lounge, which is a beautiful lounge right next to the side of the ship and it has lots of seating, it's very pretty, they have entertainment in the evenings here on the stage and the piano there as well. They also have this part of the bar that's really cool, it's made up to look like an old-fashioned streetcar from New Orleans. And right next to it is Tiana's Place, which is a beautiful restaurant with delicious Creole and Cajun food. You can see the, the beads hanging there like from Mardi Gras and those are the giant portholes you can see outside the ship and coming into the restaurant you can see how beautifully it's decorated and again not very crowded the disney also has rotational dining so you get to rotate through the th three main restaurants and your wait staff goes with you so they get to learn your likes and dislikes and any allergies or food issues you might have there's tiana who performs live and lewis the alligator makes an appearance as well so great fun and delicious food, including beignets. Back on the other side of the atrium, you have the Port Adventures desk where folks can help you with excursions. And they had this amazing gingerbread house since it was a holiday sailing. Going further forward, you have the after hours section of the ship, which is for adults only. And they have three lounges back there. First of all, they have Cadillac, which is a gorgeous lounge with all sorts of dark wood and nice comfortable leather seats. You can see on the left side the lights look like tail fins of old-fashioned Cadillacs. And behind the bar you have the grill and headlights from a Cadillac. They also have live music in the evening. They have this amazing piano player. Just a little further down the hall to the right they also had Sea Treasures, which is this beautiful small shop that sells toys for children and also these amazing dresses for young ladies. And beautiful costumes. And just to the right of that they have Crown and Finn, which is their English pub. It's beautifully decorated. You can see all the English paraphernalia and the British telephone booth and flags. They also have all sorts of pint glasses and other other British decorations. It's a beautiful pub and they have lots of seating and they have 
backgammon tables and chess tables and they have all sorts of booths and high top tables they play sporting events on the TV here so if you're missing sports while you're at sea you can come watch games in the pub and they also have trivia games here in the pub closer to the atrium they also have Azure which is a beautiful lounge nightclub with plenty of seating they have live entertainment and usually it's a dance club as well but they didn't do that when we were on board due to COVID Heading up to deck four in the bow or the front of the ship, you have the Walt Disney Theater with this beautiful lobby area. You also have preludes on both sides that are open for shows, for beverages and so on. And here's the inside of the theater. You can see it's just gorgeous with tons of seating. They have two Broadway style shows on board, including Frozen, which we saw and was amazing. So great entertainment. Heading back, they have Mickey's Main Sale, which is a lovely store with all sorts of clothing and Disney merchandise and memorabilia and right across the hall they have White Caps which is a similar store but more upscale with fancier clothing more for adults they also sell luggage and jewelry here as well so just a beautiful store with a wide selection continuing toward the back of the ship you can see the view of the atrium from the deck four with some of the characters there greeting guests as well our next stop is D Lounge, which is another gorgeous lounge on the Disney Wonder with lots of seating. They normally have entertainment and dancing and music there. Again, not on our cruise due to COVID, but you can see it's a gorgeous lounge with plenty of space and it's open for the whole family. And they also had character greetings there while we were there. Right next to that is Shutters, a portrait studio if you want to have your picture taken while you're on board. And they also have an area of shutters where you can redeem photographs that you've taken on board through all the various photographers that Disney have. Last but not least on Duck 4 is Animator's Palette, which is a gorgeous restaurant that celebrates animators and animation, which Disney is famous for. You can see all the drawings on the way into the restaurant, from Pinocchio to Rapunzel, Tangled, Finding Nemo. And you can see it's just a beautiful restaurant inside with lovely decorations. The screens on the walls come alive while you're eating, the columns look like paintbrushes, and Mickey makes an appearance. <laughs> Moving up to Deck 5, we'll start with Ocean Air Lab, which is toward the front of the ship and provides childcare and entertainment and enrichment for children 3 to 12. So you can see it's a beautiful space. The parents have to register the child with the Disney cast members and check them in and out. Moving further back, you can see the gorgeous atrium again from Deck 5. And then a little further back, they have the Oceaneer Club, which is also for children ages 3 to 12, but it's more focused on interacting with various Disney characters and enjoying the various themed areas within the Oceaneer Club. So just a beautiful space, and you can see he's already having fun. Next door is It's a Small World Nursery, which provides child care for ages 6 months to 3 years by reservation. And right next to that is the Buena Vista Theater, which you can see is just a gorgeous theater with plenty of seating and space for accessible seating as well, and they run first-run movies while we're on board. Deck 6, 7, and 8 are all staterooms, and you can see people decorate their doors on board ship, which is also a lot of fun. Moving up to Deck 9 in the bow of the ship, or the front of the ship, we have the Census Spa, which is a gorgeous spa with all sorts of amenities, and they have a barbershop, so you can get your hair cut, and facials and other things if you'd like while you're there and they have a beauty salon for women so they can have their hair done as well and facials and manic manicures and pedicures and all the cast members were very friendly and very happy to see us which is great and you can see it's just a beautiful spa this is the hallway leading back to the fitness center and then over on this side are the treatment rooms they have quite a few treatment rooms here you can see inside one of the treatment rooms and one of the cast members getting it ready for a client. Here's another one. They also have couples treatment rooms so you can get treatments together if you'd like. And this is the rainforest room which is just a gorgeous space and you can reserve access to it while you're on board whether you're getting other spa services or not. But they have those heated lounge chairs in the background and when we were there we got to use it privately just for our family. They have all sorts of towels and amenities and water and sandals and two steam rooms. They have a mild steam room and a more intense steam room as well as three different kinds of showers as you can see here. 
Moving on, they have these couples villas, which are amazing. They have a shower with a rain shower head, a jacuzzi, hot tub, a lounge chair with a beautiful view out the side of the ship, and two treatment beds. So you can get treatments together. And Jackie and I got one of the treatments while we were there and it was amazing. And this is the view when the ship's underway from the couple's villa. I highly recommend it. They also have this amazing fitness center with treadmills and bikes and ellipticals and weight machines and free weights, dumbbells at least, all kinds of equipment. And also since it's in the very front of the ship, you have amazing views of the bow of the ship. Now this is while we're still in port in Galveston, but you can imagine the view when you're at sea as well. This is the Cove Pool, which is part of the adults only area, 18 and over, and Disney ships are very fun for adults and children. So they have the Signals Bar here, which is part of the adults only area, and that beautiful pool with two hot tubs. They also have the Cove Cafe, which is a coffee shop with all sorts of specialty coffees, they have pastries and sandwiches, and it's just a lovely, quiet, peaceful, relaxing space to come and enjoy a beverage of your choice and the beautiful Christmas decorations. And you can also see out the window the pool right there in the background. So just a beautiful, quiet oasis. They have Edge as well, which is a great place to play and hang out for children ages 11 to 14. You can see they have all kinds of video games and other fun Moving further back, this is the Goofy Family Pool. You can see they have a hot tub on the right and one on the left. And they have this beautiful pool with the Funnel Vision screen there in the background that plays movies pretty much all day. And they can close that pool. That platform that the lifeguard is standing on slides over to cover the pool so they can use it as a dance floor or for other entertainment. They also have Pinocchio's Pizzeria right behind the pool along with another bar and great pizza. They also have free 24-hour room service, by the way, not including liquor, of course, but there's the sign for Pinocchio's Pizzeria. They have ice cream as well, so you can get self-serve ice cream all day long, and Sully Sips, so you can get smoothies and other drinks right there. Here's Boiler Bites, where you can get burgers and hot dogs and shawarma and other fast food made to order, which is great. This is the third pool, which is called Aqualab, and it's more of a children's pool with a water play area, and you can see the twist and spout slide there in the background. And this is Nemo's Reef, which is a great water play area for children eight and under. Next to that, they have Daisy's Delights, which has all sorts of great snacks, sandwiches, and cookies, and fruit, and make your own bowls, another quick service location. And then behind that, they have Cabanas which is their buffet location. You can see they have a hand washing station and it's a buffet, but you're served by the cast members. So you don't pick up your own food anymore. And they have all sorts of delicious food from all over the world. They have a beverage station, so they serve your beverages for you now as well, which are unlimited if they're non-alcoholic. And then a fresh seafood and salad station. And they have seating outside on the, the stern or the aft of the ship, the back of the ship. You can see the beautiful view of our wake, and here's a view of one of the balconies of one of the wake-facing suites, which are amazing. Paolo is a wonderful Italian restaurant that you have to pay extra for, but it has gourmet food, and you can see it's just a beautiful space with delicious food and excellent service and great views as well. Since it's on the back of the ship on deck 10, so you have these beautiful panoramic views of the sunset over the Caribbean. Here's another view of the Aqualab from Deck 10, as well as a closer view of the Twist and Spout slide, which is a lot of fun. We did that several times. And here's the children's water play area as well. So just great fun for the whole family. Here's another view of the Goofy Pool from Deck 10. And here's Vibe, which is a great hangout up inside one of the funnels on the ship for teenagers ages 14 to 17. So you can see it's upstairs and private and secluded and just a great place for teenagers to hang out when they want some time with each other or just to themselves. You have the Christmas decorations and video games and room to just hang out and be with each other. Here's a view of the concierge lounge. So if you book a concierge cabin, you get access to this lounge and concierge services on board. And it's a beautiful lounge. We didn't have concierge access, so I could only stick my head in the door 
but they also have hors d'oeuvres and they have a beautiful private deck up here you can see it and I'll zoom in in a second overlooking the cove pool a little further forward they have bibbidi bobbidi boutique you can see magical transformations await so it's upstairs and again in a private space and they are doing this again for girls and they do an amazing job with their hair and makeup and these beautiful dresses and costumes so they turn your daughter into a princess if that's something you'd like to do you need to reserve it in advance and then all the way forward they have a sports deck with foosball tables and ping pong tables and basketball courts and they're overlooking the bow of the ship so you get this amazing view as the ship cruises through the gorgeous blue water of the Caribbean and last but not least, they do fireworks on board. It's the only cruise ships that do fireworks at sea. And it's an amazing show, just so much fun, more Disney magic. So when you're ready to book your next amazing Disney cruise or any other cruise, contact us and we'll help make your dreams come true. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and sign up for our free Adventure Club email on our website. Thanks.